Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jump TV. All right, I have been meditating on it, Gemini. And what came up? Probably you don't want to hear it, but the word divorce came up. So let's have a look, shall we, Gemini? What's the word divorce coming up for Gemini? Four. Bear in mind, lovers, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There's a lot of scammers out there, so the only way you're going to get a legitimate reading with me is if you come to my website in the description box below. I'm never going to come to you, ever. You have to come to me, so that's the only way. If I do come to you, it's not me. It's someone trying to scam me. Gemini divorce. I don't think whoever cheated was planning on it. What I'm getting here is that uh, it kind of came out of nowhere. Didn't mean to cheat, but they did. It was an accident. It was a mistake. Um, the first time. The first time was an accident and a mistake. And then, then it became a thing. What you need to know right now, just is in reverse. It's not fair. What you are thinking now is that you did nothing wrong. Or take this how it resonates. Could be them thinking this. Just take it how it resonates. Whoever it is, you're thinking, I did nothing wrong. Why do I have to be sad? Why do I why can't I move on with my life? Why are they now in a position where they're moving on with their life? They've got somebody new, they're happy. It it's not fair. There's no justice. There's no balance in the universe. I did nothing wrong. I've been made to feel like I'm not good enough and I've been given pain when I did nothing wrong. That's what you're thinking and feeling right now. This is not a punishment, my love. Stop thinking of it like that. This is not a punishment. Tell me more. The universe is not punishing you. You want this person out of your life now. You want them out, you want them gone. Another thing that's that's not fair is that it's like the band-aid keeps getting ripped off with this person. It's like you have to keep being tortured by them for some reason. I don't know, like, you work in the same place and you have to see them every day. Or you've got kids together and they come and see the kids, or you have to go pick up the kids, whatever. And you have to see them there in their happy little life. Or you bump into them because they live close by. Something, the band-aid keeps getting ripped off and you can't heal. It's not... They keep saying, it'll be fine. Grow up. <laughs> you won't have to see me for much longer. You won't have to deal with me for much longer. Get on with it then. 
anything else that I need to know right now. Yeah, you're not actually going to have to deal with this for much longer. It, it's almost like... You're in a position here where you... you it's not fair, what's going on. You're, I, I kind of feel like there's a lot of anxiety around you and you sort of... It, it, I'm getting this rushing feeling. It's... it's I guess that's probably, you know, when you go through things like this, you get that fight or flight reaction where, ugh, you sort of feel like you can't breathe, you feel like somebody's sitting on your chest. That's sort of, yeah. It's all a, a confusing mess at the moment. We're kind of getting that with this. And there's a lot of confusion and stress about this and it's not fair and they're moving on in their life they've met somebody else already I, I kind of get the feeling they have and it's very hard to see that for you tell me about this other person they've met what's going on there well they've ended the relationship with you well, why can't I see other people is what they're saying why, why not? Why can't I? Tell me about this. They're just trying to fill a void. They are very unhappy. They're just trying to fill a void. It's, it's just taking their mind off. I don't think that that's, this is the thing. They didn't mean to cheat on you. They didn't mean to do what they did. It was an accident. But then they carried on doing it. That's where it stopped being an accident. And I don't think they actually wanted to lose you. But they have. You've said no to this person now. You know, you've put your foot down and you've put your boundaries way out there and said, you can't cheat on me. You can't treat me like that. I'm not. Someone you can just come on in and wipe your boots on. I have feelings, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm important too. You can't treat people like that. And they hate you for saying no to them. They hate you because they're the one who did something wrong and they want someone to blame for it, you know. They don't like looking at their own shit. Pardon my... Anything else? Sorry, my illuminations. There we go. Anything else Gemini needs to know right now? Two cards want to come out. Cool, oh, blimey, you really loved them, didn't you? You really loved this person. And you had no clue that they would ever do anything like that to you. It really pulled the rug out from under you. I feel like you even had this person on a pedestal, like big time. Like they would love your life kind of thing. Like you'd have done any you'd have given them the moon if you could have. You'd have done anything for them. But now it's gone and now it's over. And you know what they hate? They hate that they don't have that anymore. They don't have that. Being adored like that. And they're angry at you for saying no. What's coming in the near future? You got a new beginning, my love. Yeah. So yeah right now it's not fair but sooner or later they're gonna be thinking no 
you've moved on. I wanted you back. The funny thing is, they're never gonna get you back behaving the way they've been, been behaving. Can't speak. It's not what's coming, it's a new beginning, but it's not the beginning of a brand new long-term relationship. You're not ready, okay? You've got a new beginning, it's the start of it. It's like a stepping stone. You might, you know, it's, it's not your next big relationship, all right? Just date, hold back, don't rush things, all right? You might be tempted to rush things because you know this is freaking hurt but no it's not the start of something new it's you've got some healing to do you're not ready the best you can hope for all right we've got the sun best card in the deck but you're not ready you need to stabilize yourself for you not for anyone else you need to sort yourself out. You need to... It's it's sort of like balance your time out here. So don't work more to, you know, stop yourself having to think. Don't take time off work because you need to, you know, balance it all out. You, you don't need, you just, you just need to keep going everything in moderation so work as much as you need to to pay the bills but also take enough time to uh, recuperate but not too much time so that you're sitting there being maudlin and thinking about things that aren't going to help you you know you need to sort of start balancing out them Oh, they're, they're just in a very unhealthy situation now. I wouldn't worry overly about them. I got nothing to say about them. They they break your heart. We're pals. And one of those protective mates that's like, well, they're scum now. They're scum. I've got nothing good to say about them. They're an idiot. I'm going to take this into the extended after I've read this. I'm going to read the outcome, but I'm going to take it to the extended. I'm going to ask about this person you're divorcing. How do they really truly feel about you? Are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But uh, let's read the outcome here. We've got the hero fan in the reverse. This is about sort of restrictions, duty. Um... I don't feel very good but this is a spiritual thing it's not that I'm suddenly not very well it's uh this is for you this is like uh I'll feel fine in like five minutes when I'm done with this I feel like you push yourself too hard you're gonna get sick like uh really bad cold almost flu-like symptoms but it's just because you're pushing yourself too hard this is what we're saying you need to balance everything out you don't don't push yourself too hard in any direction just go with the flow <clears throat> oh wow yeah don't don't overdo it all right why is the hero fan here in reverse because one of the things is also is that you kind of want to just jump into the next relationship because they have and, and it's almost like proving a point to them well i can be happy too look i can meet someone awesome too they're not happy okay just so you know it they might look like they are they might pretend that they are they might tell you that they are they aren't happy okay they're not happy they miss you but don't take them back honestly 
this is a person that you need to set boundaries with now completely if you were to take yeah getting like just the thought of this makes me feel really like flu-like <laughs> i'm gonna get through the reading but wow i i'm feeling this i know the difference i know the difference between like what i'm supposed to feel as a reader to tell you and, and what's real don't let this person back in you set your boundaries with this person now and if you ever let them back in again they will know that they can treat you in the way that they've treated you because you accept it and you forgive them for it so don't go back now it's time look somebody somebody said to me when i first got divorced and it was actually my one that got away uh, his name his name's Shine, and uh, he's no longer mine, my one that got away, but uh, that's another story. But he said to me, look at you, look at you now. There you go, mate. You've got options. You didn't have them before. You were a married woman. You had to do as you were told. <laughs> you can't put it like that, but he was joking. Look at you now. Now you're that independent woman. Now you've got options. Now you can do what you want and you don't have to, don't have to go to uh, the tune that anyone else is playing. You can dance to your own tune. You've got options and this is you now. Now you've got options. You can date other people. So don't be expecting the first one to come along to be your big love soulmate, love your life thing. They're not, date. Look around, browse, okay? Browse, which is like, have a wandering eye. Love will come, but uh, not until you're ready. You need to let go of this first. Then you can move forwards, okay? You've got options. I like that. Have faith in your dreams and aspirations. You believe it. Where do you want to be in a year's time? Yeah, it will happen. Adjustments are required. This is the healing that you need to do. It's, you know, Good to go get some Reiki, go have a massage, do some meditation. I don't know. Get your chakras sorted out. Illumination keep forgetting off. What's your song of the day? Song of the day, song of the day. And I find I'm waiting, anticipating, and biding my time. It's a song by me. It's called Don't Rush. If you look in my playlists, there is one called My Music. You'll find it there. It's called Don't Rush. Thank you for joining me. If you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you later.